welcome back to another episode of Art Life. Today, let me take you down the road from my old apartment in the south of France, Antibes, known not only for the glorious sunshine, Mediterranean views, and atmosphere of creative inspiration and beauty, but as one of Pablo Picasso's favorite haunts. Welcome to Palazzo Grimaldi, home to Picasso from 1945 to 48, where he created an astounding amount of sculptures, paintings, ceramics, drawings, and photography. This museum, Museum Picasso, overlooking endless blue waves of the Mediterranean Sea, embodies in locality so much of what I associate with Picasso's personality and work. Clear light and color, bold lines, a certain joie de vivre, a celebration of beauty here, but also the perfect space to rejuvenate as an artist when you need some inspiration. He used the residency time here to create big, explorative, fast work. His main motifs are satyrs and fauns, nymphs, bacchant revelries, animals and nudes. They dominated his focus as he was sensitive here to the antiquity that was all around the traces of the chateau. Greek mythology inspired him so much while he was here. To Gertrude Stein, he wrote that he was struck by fantasies of fable here. He felt inspired to make licentious paintings, creative explosions embodying themes of antiquity, sensuality, motifs of exotic exaltation emanating from classicism. The collection itself, I find, is poetic. It's whimsical. The angular lines, muted colours, the vernal celebration of physicality and size of so many of these work appeal to me on a visceral level. They were post-war. The sponsor for the Chateau Grimaldi, the Dor de la Souchère, wanted Picasso to have a permanent studio here every now and again. So Picasso instead gave Antibes a museum, a permanent collection. He filled the entire chateau with his works. The Dor de la Souchère once suggested that Picasso maybe use the story of Odysseus or Ulysses et la Sirene as one of his main Homer Iliad inspirations. Picasso replied that he'd think about it and 24 hours later it was basically complete, over three panels, 360 by 250 centimetres, and it was made in 1947, and for me is one of my favourite pieces of Picasso's entire collection, not only for the colours and vibrancy, the bold form of Ulysses in the centre, the kind of sirens swirling around the mast, but just the sheer size and scale of the piece is so immersive. I think that's what I really would like to take away from this exhibition. Not just the way his works are so rapid and confident, the way he makes bold decisions with line and form, sometimes scribbling a few marks on a piece of paper and then a piece is done. This abundance I'd like to bring back to my own practice, not to be so afraid of making a big body of work fast. I think I labour over things too long and Picasso would make work so rapidly and confidently and then move on. He wouldn't worry so much like most artists do nowadays about constantly making a perfect final piece. It's sensitive and I think I'd like to go home from this museum today with a revived sense of my own joie de vivre.